Today I will be explaining why women have higher rates of PTSD. What is PTSD? Post traumatic stress disorder. This is a psychiatric disorder that can occur in people who have experienced and witnessed a traumatic event, like a natural disaster, a serious accident, a terrorist act, and, or other other violent personal assault. People with PTSD may avoid people or situations that remind them of events. Some symptoms of PTSD are intrusive thoughts, which are reliving traumatic events, avoiding people who remind them, negative thoughts, thinking that they shouldn't be trusting anybody, girls are reactive symptoms like anger outbursts, behaving reckless, and having trouble concentrating or sleeping. on male combat veterans, but truly women have double the rate of post-traumatic stress disorder as men. In the article, sexual trauma is particular toxic to mental health, which will include the types of traumas that women experience. The lifetime prevalence of PTSD is 5 to 6 percent in men and 10 to 12 in women. Women's PTSD tend to last four years versus one year on average. <clears throat> Factors that cause PTSD. Mostly for men, it would be combat trauma, accident, natural disasters, or disasters caused, disasters caused by humans. Usually for women, it tends to be sexual abuse, domestic violence, and sexual assaults. For women, it begins in the young age about one out of six every woman have experienced attempts at sexual assault, or most likely to be diagnosed with PTSD. Those without, then those without trauma. Women are more susceptible. And men, men usually tend to tend to deal with the problems with anxiety and depression, and just ignore the fact that it happened. As in other like women, they try to like look for comfort. They try to try to find social groups. sorts and that all that happened they try to blame themselves for why they're getting divorced and they think they're the problem. Women have stronger emotional major to life events such as death or divorce. These women coping factors to women have higher rate of PTSD women who have been raped or sexually assaulted seeing them themselves more negatively. Overall, research shows that women have higher rates of PTSD than men despite a low rate of trauma, traumatic experience exposure to sexual trauma. Intimate partner plays a role as well as biological can cause a mental health for PTSD in women. Chi, what did you think? Um, so, let's see. Uh, so, I think it was a, it was a good topic.
topic was a strong topic. She had a she had a lot of good uh, good visuals. Uh, um, sources were all right. Um, could have had more books. More more than most people, that's for sure. The statistics were good too. Uh, the transitions, um, I couldn't really tell the style, but the, there was some transition there. I just couldn't tell exactly what was going on. Um, she had uh, tons of tons of factual data, um, but um, maybe facing the audience more would be helpful. Yeah, I mean, it, overall the presentation was, was okay. It could have been longer, um, and just facing the audience more and speaking a little bit louder would have probably made it a little bit stronger. All right, that's what I did. Okay. Well, I think several of those points are probably relevant. You obviously need to project a little bit more because you've got a kind of quiet voice and you're doing a lot of reading, so that makes it harder for the audience to stay engaged with what you're talking about. You're going to have to work on that. Probably being more familiar with the material and less dependent on the notes will help you uh, in the future. Um, a couple of things that she didn't mention that I think I need to mention. There's basically no attention device here. You just start with your topic area and you go from there. And I thought that the topic was an interesting one. I think you've got a good subject here to be discussing and uh, I think your end goal, talking about the way PTSD works for women differently, is, in, is an important thing to uh, be spending some time on. Uh, I just think that you need to set it up a little bit more effectively and uh, organize it a little bit more effectively. I'd agree with G that a lot of the, there's a lot of good information in the speech. Most of it gets cited. There are a few pieces of information that didn't get cited, but you've got a definition of what PTSD is. You kind of compare it to some of the other things that people might be familiar with. And then you point out that uh, one of the main sources of PTSD are uh, sexual assaults and how frequently women might be exposed to something like that that would create uh, a sense that of PTSD, uh, uh, a scenario where that would be likely. That, that was fine, and like I said, I thought there was some good statistical information that you present on that point. I could not really pick out a structure in the speech. I think there might be one. It's topical in nature, uh, but I couldn't tell you. Uh, it, maybe the points are defining what PTSD is, how women and men experience it differently, what are the factors in that. It, it was a little bit hard for me to figure that out, and it shouldn't be that hard. You, you should be structuring for us as you go along, and I didn't think that there were very clear transitions, except sometimes the visuals help make the transitions. Uh, I, I appreciated the effort that you made to make uh, the sources of PTSD, the factors that might cause PTSD, visual for us. I thought that that was a pretty effective slide and to suggest what the difference, differences might be uh, between men and what causes their PTSD and those for women. I thought that that was re referenced pretty effectively. Uh, later on in the presentation, there's a couple of pieces of information that I think need to be um, developed a bit more. Yeah, the, uh, I think one other slide that I'm trying to remember, I hope I'm not conflating it with another speech, that looked like it had some information on it that needed to be uh, talked about more. Uh, you, <laughs> you've got your uh, bibliography uh, at the end uh, on, on links, you know, hyperlinks, and that's not necessary to have in the visual presentation. Nobody's going to be clicking on those links during the presentation, so uh, that, I think you've just kind of added that by accident. Uh, it's not something that you need to have in the speech. Um, so, like I said, the things that you need to work on the most are organizational issues. Content is pretty solid. It could be expanded a little bit. As an attention device, for instance, you could talk about uh, a, a person's experience, a woman who's had PTSD for uh, one of the reasons that you mentioned, and uh, maybe she's telling her story or uh, has an event or a circumstance where she had a, uh, a moment of PTSD that created a problem for her and relates it back to uh, an earlier event in her life. If you could do that, I think that that would pull us into the subject a little bit more emotionally. All right, thank you.